What's up guys? Welcome to Exactly Gaming. My name is Zach and today we are playing House on Wheels. Now, this is a horror game. Don't know exactly what it is, but it just says the lights went out in my trailer and I want to eat some noodles and go to bed so much, but as long as there is no light, I feel awful. Okay, interesting. Let's start this. Okay, this is where we are. Whoa, first things first. Let's change that sensitivity. Because that was crazy shit. Okay. Press E to eat noodles. I won't eat in the dark. I need to turn a light on behind the trailer. Okay. Can I drink in the dark? I don't want to drink it now. Okay. Fair enough. Let's bump that sensitivity down just a touch more. That was some crazy ass sensitivity. I already have my sensitivity like adjusted on my computer. So I don't know if that had an effect on it. But that amped it way up. Use sleeping pills. Not now, okay. And that's outside my trailer, so I just live in a little into the bedroom. I it won't I won't sleep hungry. Okay, so he just has like a little tiny home trailer RV fifth wheel type situation here. Gotcha. Got a fire there, so let's go turn on the lights then. Alright, that seemed easy enough. Turn those lights on. Pop in. Now I'm inside. Nice little fire. I'll probably put that fire out if I'm planning to go to bed soon. But hey. Alright, let's eat. And then drink. I don't want to. Okay, so I ate. Now use the sleeping pills? What what now? Damn it. Looks like the engine is knocked out. Shit. Well, that's like a crazy sound. That doesn't sound like just any normal engine sound, right? Also, what engine? What am I hooked up to here? Yeah, what fucking... Just this? It just has its own power? Does it run off solar? What's it connected to? Lots of questions. Alright, so... You just live in a small house with a shitty little generator thing attached to it. Is that is that it? Is that the gist? Oh, what the fuck? What is that? I need to check. Oh, okay. Hey. Uh, can I grab my knife? Yeah, that's a full-on creature. Why aren't you moving? It looks like it was a glitch. I want to drink soda water. What the fuck? This dude is... A lunatic. Okay. I'll drink the soda water. Oh, shit! Hey! So delicious. Get the fuck out of here. What are you? Oh, okay. That's not good. I don't care if I go to bed without light. Stupid engine. Not now. I need to take sleeping pills. I just tried to. Can't sleep with these glitches. Nice. Now I can go to bed. Oh, that's not good. Uh, hello. Ending number one. I'm locked in my own room with him. I have nowhere to run, and is there any sense in running? Maybe you should have turned out the light. Turned on the light. Oh, okay. So if I go back, I can turn the light on? Let's try that. We'll turn the light on this time. So... Okay, wow, why did it reset the mouse sensitivity? That's a ludicrous <laughs> that it did that. Okay, let's go. They just have all their preset stuff there. Okay, so let's go turn the light on. My next attempt is just going to be, after this, is just going to be running. I think there's three endings. So now I can eat noodles. Now there's a creepy thing outside, right? No? Okay. Cool. No soda. No wanting to eat. Damn it. Okay, it looks like the engine is knocked out. Whatever the hell that means. Alright, now it's back on. I don't want to drink soda. Is there the creepy thing outside? Yeah, hey. Hey, asshole. Where'd you go? Okay. So 
Now I want soda. So delicious. Yeah, hey, what the fuck are you doing? Hey. Go to bed without light? I don't think so. What the fuck is that? Oh shit, I need to run from this shit. Okay. Ending two. The pills didn't help, so it was real. The main thing is that I ran away from it. Maybe none of this would have happened if I hadn't checked outside. What if I take the pills first? Okay, and then go outside. Let's replay it. It's going to reset my mouse sensitivity, but we're ready for it this time. All right, let's see. Press E to drink soda water. Okay, so we got to go outside. Turn the water on. Or turn the power on. Got it? Got that figured out. I like how they have it lit up the first time, just to let you know. Okay, we're in here. Let's eat. Let me try to go here. He's like, what the fuck? Damn, looks like it's out again. We'll go out one more time. We'll do it. Boom. Turn it on. Okay. Now we're going to drink soda. I don't want to drink soda. Did you want to do that? And I can try to go to bed, and he's like, what the hell is that? I'm like, fuck you. Yeah, I'm gonna check outside. Yeah. Now he's like, hey, I want soda for some reason. It was a glitch. I want to drink soda water. Fair enough. Let's do this. Okay. Okay, now you're in my house, you son of a bitch. So now I'm gonna take the sleeping pills. I need to take sleeping pills. Okay, so let's take the sleeping pills. Now let's go outside. Turn the lights back on. What the fuck? Yeah, I need to run from this shit. It's a shadow. The pills didn't help, so it was real. Okay. I don't know. What's the other ending? Who knows? Who knows what the other ending is? Maybe if I just go outside and leave? I don't know. I don't know what the other ending is, gang. Well, if you guys want to find out, maybe go download this game. Maybe go download it and check it out. But I think I'm going to end that one here. Uh, end this episode here. Not the... Not the the whole episode. We got we got more stuff we're doing. So let's go here. Yeah, House on Wheels. Go check it out, guys. It's on the Ichio store. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. No, we're not done because we are playing Do Not Play This Game. Now, yes, I am doing the exact opposite of what this game wants me to do, but I think I think I owe it to you guys. So I know literally nothing about this game. Alright, this is already spooky already spooky not liking it and yes it does look that gritty on my screen as well everyone it's it pretty sure that's very intentional okay can't seem to open that up not even with e or anything but the whispers aren't cool I don't know what's happening here. Oh, okay. 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 Can I take this candle with me for light, please? That's a bathtub of blood, it looks like. Okay. That's that's unsettling. Maybe it's tomato soup. You know what? Maybe it is tomato soup. Crosses. Always a sign of something not creepy happening. Always good. That's nice and pleasant. All right. This game's done a good job at putting me on edge already. So, already on edge. Already not feeling good. There's no tutorial either. No, hey, here's what you do, here's what you should do. Just right into the creepiness of it. It did tell me- Oh, what the fuck is that? Why? Thank you for playing. Made it- made in 30 minutes, so hopefully give you a laugh and a scare. Don't forget to check out my other games on each show. Jesus Christ! 
That's not what I need. <laughs> That's it? That's all this is? Okay, now we are going to be playing No Snake Hotel, another game I know nothing about, except hopefully there's not snakes, but I have a feeling that's misleading. So, uh, yeah, and this is by the guy who's making Choo Choo Charles. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but that game is going to be incredible. I've been following it, and I'm definitely going to be playing it whenever it comes out. So, let's jump right into No Snake Hotel. Welcome 99 to No point Snake Hotel. Okay. The only hotel with a 99.99% No Snake Guarantee. Here at the No Snake Hotel, we pride ourselves in our incomprehensible lack of snakes. <laughs> at other hotels, you run the okay. constant risk of finding a snake in your bed sheets, a snake in your toilet, or even waking up to a snake sliding down your throat. It happens more than you'd think. Call the front desk for questions and enjoy your stay at the No Snake Hotel. All right, so the No Snake Hotel, 99.99% No Snakes Guaranteed. I just arrived at the hotel. Good golly, Bart, this place is immaculate. You know how much I hate snakes, so I went out of my way to stay at the No Snake Hotel. They've really done it, Bart. There are absolutely no snakes in this hotel. Well, I mean, I would hope there's no snakes in most hotels. I mean, just, I mean, I'm sure there are some snakes in some hotels, but 99.99% guaranteed. This makes me think they've had horrible, terrible snake problems. Step on it. Okay. But I shouldn't have to step on it because it's not here. Room 100. Okay. 122. I'm, I'm, there's no snakes. The devil incarnate. All right. Um, I'm living the dream. I didn't think it was possible, but I sure am happy it is. The No Snake Hotel really lives up to its name. Ever since I was a little girl and got abducted by an army of rabid snakes while on vacation, I haven't left my house. After 50 years in solitude, I finally have a place where I can vacation. Thanks, No Snake Hotel. Alright, cool. I mean, it's weird that they have like written down reviews of this place. Um, 116. 115. Why is this? Why, yeah, what's happening here? There's snakes in here? What the fuck's in that room? What room is that? 114? Yeah, I remember 114. One something. Why, why is there a... What the hell is that noise? Everywhere except here. Okay, cool. I feel safer than ever here. One time at some other hotel, I walked into my room, and when I turned around to shut the door, there was a snake as long as my arm, dangling from the coat hook. But here at the No Snake Hotel, I don't need to worry about what creepy, slithering creatures might be standing behind me. Okay. Well, I have a feeling that when I walk into my hotel room, it's just going to be a big fucking snake. Or there's going to be a bunch of snakes or something. Yeah, why is there a thing? 110 is where I'm at. That's 100. That's not 100, but why is there a couch blocking this? Okay, going down to 100, 104, 103, where the fuck is 100, 102, 101, Where's one, is that 100, oh, why is there blood, oh, fuck, why is there blood, open this up, oh no, oh, fuck, this is bad, so 101, can I go in, can I just stay in 101, I'm fine staying in 101, oh, this doesn't look good, Oh, what the fuck? There is a snake! There's a fucking little snake. Did it do all that? Jesus Christ, where's 101? Oh, whoa, 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 fuck! Fuck! Run! 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 Out of order, shit! Oh! Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, no snake hotel. I think you had snakes. You had snakes. Oh, God. All right. Well, guys, I think I might end that one here for the day. Who knows? I might I might cut all this out and throw in another episode of something on here. All right, so we are going to play one more game, and that game is called The Man in the Park. Now, this is another... There's been a long-going thing of, like, very Polygon PS1-style game horror games i think it's just easier obviously to render it doesn't take as much time but also it does have a little bit of an unsettling feel so we're gonna jump right in i don't know anything about this game um there is a man in the park i know that much i guess i lied and there's a playground and we're in a park so i know a bit about this game except for anything that's gonna happen so hello man in the park press e to talk to the old man 
Please help. I can't find my grandson Timmy. I saw him playing on the playground, but now I'm too tired to look and I worry he's hungry. Will you please find him? Uh, sure. I'll try to find your grandson Timmy, old man. Why not? Whoa. Little shifty shaders there. They're a little freaky. That's one of the scariest things so far. Right, Timmy. Oh, Timmy, are you up here? Into the slide. Right, Timmy, are you in here, Timmy? Oh, what the fuck? Why? Helping hand, medium rare, one of three. Timmy felt his dinner was a little bland. Your body is never found. What the fuck? And that's ending one? There's other endings? So I'm gonna play it. Yeah, fuck your... No, your grandson... Nah, I'm out. Bye. I shouldn't leave without helping the old man. Hey, old man, your grandson is evil and he's in the... He's in the slide, so... How about that's it? Search the trash can. Okay, let's go search trash cans. I'm not going in that damn slide again. I can tell you that much. Oh, a chocolate bar. Maybe Timmy will like this. Okay. Now maybe I can go in the slide with the chocolate bar. Or listen, how about me and this old man just go split this chocolate bar and say, Hey, screw you, Timmy. You want some chocolate? Nope, you're just saying thank you now. Can I leave with my chocolate? Is he going to tell me i got to help him? Damn it. All right, Timmy, I'm coming back, and I have chocolate this time, and I swear to God, if you try to kill me, like you did last time, it was rude as shit, man. Gee, thanks, mister. Tell my grandpa I'll be there soon. Okay, cool. Hey, old man, your grandson, I gave him chocolate. He'll be there in a little bit. Thank you for giving Timmy a snack. Come to think of it, I'm a little hungry myself. Will you help an old man out one more time? Okay, why? What's the last option? Just keep walking and say fuck them both? Yeah, leave the park and go home. Don't talk to strangers. There we go, guys. You know what? I'm gonna leave. I was like, this game is weird, but don't talk to strangers. Yeah. You made it home safely because you don't talk to strange people in the park at night. Good job. Well, guys, that's a little PSA from all exactly. Don't talk to strangers. It's, it's a lose-lose. Also, yeah, why are you... It's like clearly like the dead of night like it's like midnight at least and you're at a park with your kid in the slide and you ask a stranger walking by to help you and you're cool that he gave him trash chocolate so yeah don't talk to strangers guys if you did like this be sure to like subscribe it really helps out the channel and of course i'll see you next time bye